I want to get Jackie Peterson. Peterson, do you have any comments on the Nazi presence at your protest? The presence of Nazis and white supremacists assaulting people at your protest. Do you have any comment on that? Yeah, I don't like Nazis. Then why are you... Why were they here? Well, well how can I answer are there, that? Are there views in alignment with yours? At some point, I have think to that's a foolish question. Look, do you want to know what my views are? I've watched all of your videos, yes. Including the yes, yes, I have. Yes. Then why wouldn't you ask such a question? Because, because this is my interpretation of your videos. Well, apparently, I want to all of the people who arranged the protest against you watched all of your videos. It's like, do you want to disavow? I have 150 videos on YouTube. No, so your lectures, which sparked the debate. Okay, okay. Do you I want to disavow the support? Could you let me talk to her for a moment? Don't, don't call me that, please. So, I have 150 lectures on YouTube. There's 500 hours of my views. Do you really if think you that you're worth all of that are, time? So look, I will answer your question, okay? I've studied Nazism for a very long time. It's been four decades. And I understand it very well. And I can tell you that there's some awful people lurking in the corners, and they're ready to come out. And if the radical left keeps pushing the way that it's sounds pushing, very much like a they're threat. going to come. That sounds very much like a threat. threat. That sounds very much like a threat. Would you like to disavow the physical violence trans people were physically assaulted at this rally in your name? Would you like to disavow that violence? Yes. So you wish that didn't happen, and you watch, and I'm going to post this online that you would like people to not to be to be more accommodating of trans people and people of color at your events in future. I would I'm like a person there of to color. be no Listen, violence. I am a person of color, and I felt very accommodated. I, I felt like my voice thank you very much. I'm a Muslim, and I feel if you like this guy. I'm a person of color. I like I like the the you wanted to disavow. You wanted to disavow, and this is the disavow. I am not an advocate of violence. I'm speaking out the way I'm speaking out because I think this is a route to no violence. And violence is lurking. And you can say that that sounds like a threat. There was no violence at our protest, though. There was violence at your protest. So what does that say about our view? It's not my protest. You know, asking, asking me continually afraid of questions isn't very helpful if you want to have a dialogue. You have no idea if I'm your enemy. You have no idea about me. You won't use my pronouns, so I'm pretty sure you're my enemy, yes. Yeah, well, I know you think that, but I don't believe that using your pronouns is going to do you any good in the long run. I think it'll do quite the contrary. <laughs> Is what? that your medical what? opinion? What? Is that your medical opinion? Like, you I'm are aware doctor. that non-binary people are valid in the on, in the American this Psychological isn't about Association. Is that your opinion? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's about non-binary pronouns. No, it's not. Yeah, no, I was. I'm, I'm saying that that's Did what I'm about. Were you there when I spoke? Yes. I've been here for this whole thing. Okay, I well, I don't know that. I mean, it's a genuine question. I look, I think that's what's happening is that we're pushing over a line we shouldn't cross. The newest legislation is requiring people to use... But you are aware that that's being put in place so that we can't get fired. We need to be written to the, into the Canada Human Rights fired. Legislation no, or no, we can no, be fired for our gender identity. Well, okay. then why did you make a fucking video about it? I've been denied housing as a trans person. These rights would protect denied me. Denied housing? I've been denied housing. From the state or for, for the open market? So you've been denied housing for like... From the government? It's illegal from either way if we had from human rights. From the government? I'm not or, or have you tried to get a house like everybody else and they said no? You're weird. You can't work. No, if the state they, done they, it, that's a problem. They said, but if someone doesn't want to live with you, that's their right. They said, no, you're I'm trans. Really not sure how you're so, no, right. if I had human rights, no. that wouldn't have fucking happened. As far as I'm weird. I don't want to live as, with As far as I'm concerned, that's a terrible thing. It's too bad that that's happening. So, you don't, want us to, but you don't want us to have, but you don't want us to have protections in the human rights bill that will allow me to have employment, no, I don't allow want, me to have housing security, want, allow me to have medical care. That's what this is about. It's not about infringing on your rights or making you learn a new fucking pronoun. I don't think that's what it's about. What evidence do you have that attempting to transform the way that people use pronouns is going to produce a positive effect? Because on are you aware that there is a trans boy who killed himself in psychiatric care recently because he was continuously being misgendered by his care workers? And that is my precise problem. And there have been multiple, multiple recorded instances of trans people killing themselves because because they are because they are not being integrated into society. We are not looking for special treatment. We are looking to be able to integrate ourselves into society. And if you refuse. To, oh, if you refer, if you refuse to refer to us by our pronouns, which are, is not a lot to ask, they, singular they pronouns go all the way back to Shakespeare. It's not a new thing. If you refuse to let us integrate ourselves into society, you create alienation that results in suicide. We are in a suicide epidemic right now. What are you contributing to this as a psychologist? Man, you know, you're almost impossible to talk to. You're so full of rhetoric that it's impossible to listen to you. I, I would, would be more than happy to listen to you. Yeah, really. <laughs> And I did, yes, actually, I, I don't really think I am a rhetorician. Just so you know, just so you know that. 
And you know, like it's very hard to listen to you. I mean, it's very hard to attend to you because if you rattle on in your it's, with, with your ideological speech, it's not ideological. It's, it's it's personal. Ideological That's what you. It's not personal. You haven't said a personal thing. I'm Everything talking about something so that affects, affects you, my community. Just that when you say the things, it tends, even if you didn't mean it. It attracts people like me and us. It attracts us because they see an avenue to what you're saying. Even if that's not what you meant, like, they see an avenue to what you're saying. In the idea of like, a more abstract response to the speech, they see an avenue to that to continue to spread their hateful ideology and to make more people hateful. So that's why, that's why the Nazis come here. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that that's why that was. I'm so, perfectly aware of that. I had a calm, rational question. Okay. I won't get emotional with you. Um, so, uh, who is this legislation harming? Who is harming anybody who wants to use their own words? So, in what in what capacity? Be, be specific. Look, it's important that people are able to use their own words. Okay. Because that's how we think. And so, if the government starts legislating how we think. And so if I wanted to call you she, like, are you gonna let if, me no, say? no, I'm I'm playing off of what you're saying. If I wanted to call you she and her and Miss, because I that's my favorite speech, and and if everyone just called you that all the I time, and that was the only thing. Can you tell? I, I think that you think that you don't care because you've never had to face that, and it's a common trend among people who have never had to face uh, like transgender-related discrimination that you think it's not a big deal because you don't have to deal I didn't with it. I say I didn't think it was a big deal. I said I didn't care if people called me that. Public institution, but it does prevent us from access to healthcare. It does prevent us from access to other services. I'm not, I'm not arguing about your rights. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you realize that right now, if you were to kill a trans person, because only for the sole reason that they're trans, that would not be considered a hate crime. Sure, they could be convicted of murder, but not of a hate crime. And that's what this I don't bill, see what that's what this is. Yeah, yeah. You see how it's like, yeah, yeah. In the United States and get off by blaming temporary insanity because they were freaked out by the trans person. I am not claiming for a moment the people who don't fit into standards and traditional sexual categories or sexual identity categories this is don't about pay for all sorts of trouble. They do. I just don't think that this is the way to fix it. In fact, I think you know, you not know, a lot of legislative protections and discrimination for trans people. Not this way to do nothing. That's right. I don't think Have you read the laws are intentionally worded? Bring as many Most laws involving human rights. much trouble to as many people as possible. What, what, would, we ga what, what would we gain from that? Of I didn't say this. Conspiracy. I think there is a concentrated effort behind these bills in order to specifically make the lives of people worse. And that's why we create other things to make it. I think that people. people I think that people lives. often do things to make other people's lives worse, don't you? Well, clearly, as an example of this rally, I am probably the most fervent anti-statist you will ever meet. I am an anarchist, and I do not believe that anyone who writes legislation has the interest of anybody but themselves and their special interests at heart. So don't come at me saying that I. Want to suck up the liberal government, okay? Because that's not who I am. What I'm interested in is in, is in that people I love are being assaulted, are being killed, are being discriminated against, are being kicked out onto the street, are be are freezing to death in the winter because and of being denied shelter. shelter. And I feel. But pronouns are too much to ask for you to show solidarity towards those people. Sorry. Look, we agree that this is a thing that's happening. We agree that it's a reprehensible thing. That's okay, happening. sure. I, I mean, I don't think that that would be controversial to most people. I mean, apparently, I agree. Some, I agree. apparently, people some people think. Apparently, to, apparently, to some people, we're freaks because we because we can't have families or whatever. Like whatever. But but what? I, I, okay, whatever. Maybe that's maybe that's not something you agree. With. I don't know. I'm not going to hold words about that right now. What I fail to understand is how. You honestly feel, in your expert opinion, as both an educator, as an educated person, that not calling somebody by by a pronoun that has been used to refer to no, individual people. No, I think it's, it's, legislating it. it's legislating it as a necessity that I have an objection to. Okay, so, 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 if, so if there was this legislation was not on the table, if this legislation fails, let's say, if this is removed, you would be totally fine referring to me with they, them pronouns. Probably not they and them. Probably not they and them. Why no. is that? Well, because I don't think it's a tenable solution. A I don't solution think it's a what? 
I don't think it's the solution to the to the problem that you're trying to solve. I mean, it's not you look. Think it's it's not respect. that easy to trap. There. I know that's how you. Look. You are saying no, you literally saying, saying you can make up a word and make that a child's name, and you would refer to them by that name. Why is it different for a pronoun? Well, it's different it's because it's, it's different. It's no, it's, it's not just as word. Just us. us. It's different because it's a pronoun for a lot of reasons. So you I mean, one of the reasons it's different is that pronouns turn out to be very yeah. difficult to change. They're closed linguistic. Which is why we're using they them pronouns, which has historical continuity. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, is, it is in the English language, it's in the Oxford English Dictionary. You, as an educator, okay, hold on. Sorry, yeah, yeah. You were asked, would you refer to me using they them pronouns? You said, no, I wouldn't. When asked why, you said, because I don't think it's a solution. When I brought up then it was basic respect and so on, what you said was, oh, I wouldn't do it if I was like coerced or whatever you said. Somebody literally just asked, would you do this for me? And you said, no, I would not show you that respect. I would not extend that amount of dignity to you. That's not what I said. Yes, you said you said that you would not say that No, no, no. Yes, asked, I did say that. Nobody <laughs> asked anything about if I came like with a club and asked you to like use certain pronouns what makes to refer think, to me. What makes but you I just asked, would you refer to me if it wasn't for this law and I asked you to refer to me with they them pronouns, would you? And your answer was no. Not if it's certain. But we're what saying you said, if you weren't. You said no, and then when I started asking you about, you said it wasn't a solution. When you were asked, what is it not a solution to? You said something vague, we said it's about basic respect, and then you said not if I was compelled to. So no, when you were just asked, as a matter of respect in fact, would you refer to a trans person who asked you to use a they-them pronouns, a pronoun which has a several not hundred year historical but we're, That's not what we're talking so about. Yes, yes it is, because we it's just, legislation. We're saying if it wasn't legislation. I've got to stop, guys. There's never too legislation. many of you. Okay. Why is single question? Sorry, I can't do this anymore. No, I'm done. I thought we were statistically irrelevant. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't exist. If a trans person asked you, would you please refer to me by they and them pronouns, would you refer to them by those pronouns? Well, it might depend on how they ask. So, no. I need to have the authority to determine whether or not... Please refer to me... Why do I have the authority to determine what I say? Why do what you kind have, of question Why do you is have that? the authority? <laughs> let me finish. Why do you have the authority to determine whether or not an individual is worthy of you using their pronouns? Like, if I asked you, would you please use their them pronouns for me? What? What? It would depend on what, what I thought of your motivation. What do you want us to jump for? Those what? are my pronouns. Those are my There's pronouns. no motivation. No, I know. No one ever has any motivation. We're Those trying to survive. To Politics are a product of our of our lives and of trying to live in this world. We're not trying to no, live in this world as a product of our politics. You you I was apolitical before I came out as trans. I got into politics because I needed to to survive, to advocate against people like you, no offense. I have one quick question. Okay, so they then pronouns are written into the Oxford English Dictionary, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Um, it's actually the word of the year this year. Um, and so, and it is, it does have historical continuity all the way back to Shakespeare. It is objectively an English word, singular they pronouns, grammatically correct. Do you think that you can choose to not respect something that is in the English language as a professor, as an academic, I think that, I that you are going to, to do that? that you're, Absolutely. That, I am choosing that you're, to do that. You're, going, you're ignoring rules of the English language to go out of your way to disrespect students. That's your opinion. And I'm not going it to is my opinion. Opinion. disrespect students. You're saying it's disrespectful anyway, to our students. You don't get to decide what's disrespectful to us.